Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we are going to explore one of the flagship devices of Samsung. So today we got Samsung's Samsung Galaxy S5. So this was a flagship device of 2014 and it came with all the features you want from a flagship device. It, it has a lot of things actually, but it was not really a famous device back then and also it did not sold very well. So today we're going to explore this device and also we will try to use this device in 2024 or can we use this device in 2024 or not, we will check that. So first of all, let's turn it on. So as the device is turning on, so the specs of this device actually it got an OLED panel which is 5.1 inch 1080p and in front also we got our 8 megapixel front camera and also we got a notification LED which I really like the notification LED in older devices like Blackberry and Samsung used to have but like the, the, the LED used to be really big and also we got soft buttons here and in the front also we got the one of the first device from the Samsung which came with a fingerprint scanner and the fingerprint scanner here is very horrible and going with the right hand side of the device as you can see here we got our power button here and also on the right hand side we got our volume rockers and on the bottom we got a weird looking port which is actually micro USB and uh, this is called micro USB 3.1 maybe and the port actually you can use standard micro USB to charge the device or transfer the data but if you want high speed data transfer then you can use this uh, extra port uh, usually it does, didn't come with a lot of mobile devices but you will see this port in your external hard drive or anything else but not in the phone so and also the Samsung ditched this one on Samsung S6 because it is a horrible connector big connector that not really useful one and on top we got our 3.5 mm headphone jack and also we got our what it called IR blaster which you can control your TV and AC and other things whatever and on the back we got our 16 megapixel camera one of the best thing of this device until now in 2024 I would say is the camera which still holds up pretty well and on the back we got a horrible heart rate sensor which is pretty bad I don't see any reason to put a heart rate sensor in the on the back of the device there is no reason to put that actually also we got a speaker not really good ones and one of more feature of this device actually it was IP67 uh, water resistant and the way they did it actually uh, they, there used to be a cover here which is not a Bible right now and although the back is removable still it is actually IP67 water resistant so they made it like that and you can remove the back and you, you can see that there is a rubber uh, gasket here which actually uh, seal the water from this uh, like a, to go inside of the device and, and also it got a removable battery I will talk about the battery later on in this video so the back panel you can put it back and one of the the design is actually pretty bad the device is lightweight but the design is pretty bad and as you can see the the edges here already like I have already taken out the color from here and it used to be a uh, like a, the brownish uh, color pinkish brownish color uh, I mean it came out pretty badly and I just rub it off with a sandpaper just to give it a clean look so now let's 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 try to uh, unlock the device so first of all as I booted the device I need to put my password here the device is unlocked now so as you can see here it is showing something to check the back cover to put it like put it properly because as I said it is a water resistant device so they will always ask you whenever you plug the charger and take it out they will always ask you to like uh, Put back the back or the port that the like if I connect the charger now and as you can see I'm using a standard uh, micro USB charger and if I take it out and it will ask me to check the cover here and the charger uh, the cover is already gone so I don't have that one anyway I'm going with this device actually the back history of this device I got this device for very cheap about five dollars without battery but turns out that the device is pretty good and the display is, I would say display still holds up pretty well. 5.1 inch display, 1080p, plenty sharp for the content if you want to consume. And the display also pretty bright as you can see it goes pretty bright. And 
Other than that, the display works perfectly fine. It's an OLED panel, so you will not have any kind of issue with the display panel. I don't think for 2014 device, you, if you get this kind of display, this was actually one of the best device. Like for the display back then, the OLED panel is pretty good on this device. And we all know that, that Samsung make one of the best OLED panel you get from the phone. So going with the, this device, the specs of this device are other things like it got uh, like 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi band. So you will not have any kind of issue with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0. And also it got a 2 gig of internal RAM and 16 gig of internal storage. And one more thing about this device, it also got like 4G LTE and other things. So this device is actually pretty much usable in 2024. You will not have any issue connecting to the Wi-Fi network or internet or anything like that. Pretty much usable. And this device is running on Android 6 right now. So it was released in 2000, as I said, 14. And we Android 4.4 KitKat. Now it's actually updated to Android 6.0. The good thing about Samsung device right now mainly Samsung device or Samsung's flagship device, you will get a lot of custom ROMs for this device and you can update this device to Android 11 maybe right now and I will upload a few custom ROMs review for this device to make it a little bit more usable. Right now it is still usable, plenty of apps application is still supported on this device but still there are a lot of issues. So coming with the UI, it is running on Samsung's uh, Tajwi UI which you used to get with Samsung older device before running UI. So the UI is looks something like this as you can see here, a lot of well, tabs and other things. And in build it came with about 44 applications as you can see, 20, pay, 20 applications each, uh, each page and 40, 44. And I did install WhatsApp, Telegram and Messenger. So uh, one of the bad thing about this thing actually is that although it is running on Android 6 now, and let me connect to my Wi-Fi to show you that. So first of all, the, the Play Store will not work unless you update the Google Play service or everything. Then it will, Play Store will work. The, but the Play Store is not working like has used to perform in back in the day. So as you can see, it is loading right now. It does work. The application actually not much here actually. So if I go to app section right now. So as you can see, it is showing no result found. If I so top free apps, there are few applications it is showing. And... And few application as you can see and not much. If I search Facebook here, you will not get Facebook main application. Here it doesn't support Android 6. But you can install Messenger and Facebook Lite and other things. And also Instagram you can install. So it does support. But no Free Fire or PUBG. If I try to install PUBG. Ah, PUBG Mobile is supported now. You can install PUBG now. Yes. PUBG is work. Maybe it will work. But the performance will be pretty bad as, as, as far as I can say. So I did try to install PUBG before but it is saying that it is not supported in this device but now it is showing. Let me try Free Fire 2. I have never played Free Fire though. Free Fire. I had tried to install like Free Fire. It said it doesn't support this device and it still now it's working perfectly fine. I think that the Play Store got updated after that and now it is supporting. So as I said almost all the application will work perfectly fine. You will see the some of the application will not be compatible with Android 6 but most of them will work perfectly fine. So even the bank apps which I use is still working like supporting Android 6 so that's good. Going with this device other things like it came with two variants actually 16 gig and 32 gig variant. I got the 16 gig variant and you can still put an SD card here so you will not have any kind of issue like in like putting your all the music and other things you will not have any issue. And as I haven't installed anything, the, the device is working perfectly fine. I haven't seen any issue with this device. And it, this device actually came with tons of features. You also getting NFC and other things here. And one of the worst thing of this device, I will say, is the fingerprint scanner. So the way it works actually is that if you usually use fingerprint scanner, the way you use, you cannot use that. So if I put my finger right now, it will, it will not work. I have to like put it like this and swipe it to unlock the device as you can see it will work right now. It is pretty bad I will say. You can't really use a fingerprint like this. Like if you have a device, like if your phone is on the other or if you are holding this device like this and if you want to unlock the device, it will not work. You have to do it. You can't do that. That means you need two hands to unlock the device only. So if I go here and the device is unlocked, 
now it is working and the the device is as for now is pretty fluent but if i i really know that that if i like open any kind of application yet it will be pretty slow i really know that so the one thing to go with this kind of device is the older device you can install custom rom and you are good to go now going with the one of the best thing of this device is camera so it got a 16 megapixel camera with auto focus the camera ui is pretty bad though as you can see that is the device is tight right now the battery is not really good on my device so let me let me plug the device back so that the camera is pretty good uh, i will say it's pretty sharp and also it can shoot 4k video that's pretty awesome for the 2014 device and the i will show you a few like um pictures and the other like videos i have to like shoot it with this device and i'm really happy about the camera and i'm thinking to record my videos with this device if i can like control my device from from the pc directly and let me let me put my password again oh, now so let, let let me check so that the, as you can see the battery is gone already the battery of this device actually is not bad but the battery i have right now it's pretty bad so the camera is as you can see it's working perfectly fine and it does struggle to focus but most of the time it will work perfectly fine and the camera ui is pretty bad though and you do get like hdr function and other things one more thing i like about this device it is it is having a sitting like uh 16 megapixel camera so in the default mode if you shoot pictures it will be in full screen mode so like 16 by 9 it will use the full sensor so that's pretty good i will say so as you can see here it is kind of like uh 16 megapixel and if you shoot like put it in like if you check the video uh yes as you can see you can shoot up to 4k with this device so kind of the camera quality is pretty good let me let me show you some picture um i will put it in the video so you can check it there too so if i go to gallery it is pretty slow though the device is not really fast but it is pretty slow as you can see it takes a lot of time although i did not install a lot of application here but still it is pretty slow so here i have taken few pictures is the camera yeah it's pretty slow this is the picture i have taken it is plenty sharp i will say that the camera quality is pretty good and it is taking a lot of time to load the picture only as you can see it is struggling a lot to just to load the picture so this is pretty old device and coming with the battery as i said the battery on my device is not really good even with the good battery also you will not get a really good battery backup from this device but one of the positive thing of this device is that you can like uh, change the battery on the go and whenever you really need a battery you can change it and just pop up your back panel and just put a new battery on and you are good to go so android 6 is not much you can do with android 6 right now although although you can flush a custom rom here if you get this device around 10 to 15 dollar maybe it will be a great deal if you really want a device like this rather than a dumb phone i would say this would be a pretty good like a uh, device for that kind of price it works perfectly fine and everything you need you will get it even google maps also working perfectly fine and the build quality is obviously it's not really great but for a 10 or 15 dollar device you will not have anything to complain about this kind of devices the display is beautiful that camera is really good you call all kind of features you want from a device. Everything is a Bible here. Although the fingerprint is very bad. I, I don't think you're going to use the fingerprint also. The front camera is also good. 5 megapixel with autofocus. It's pretty good too. You will go to get a pretty decent um, output from the earphone also. And also you got a like uh, IR blaster. You, you can just keep this device as like remote control in your house. And use it as, as a remote control. 
still it is it's all that money actually for 10 or 15 dollars you can't go wrong with this kind of device uh, one more disappointing part of this device actually that is that in android 6.0 you can't really use youtube right now you can go through like a web page and watch youtube there but the application is not a bible maybe let me check last time i tried it didn't work as you can see it still is saying that uh, it's not compatible with android 6 so that's about all samsung s5 as i said the finger like a the heart rate sensor is terrible i have checked it pretty bad and okay our like our game is going to install in six seconds i will try playing games in this device and i will make another video about this device in later on with a custom rom so that's all about samsung s5 in 2024 it's still pretty much usable if you get in a good price you should check this device out it got a really good display and camera so thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time